Cx client was introduced in HCL DX Portal 9.5 CF19. This tool allows developers and administrators to manage tasks such as deploying portlets, script applications, and running XML, and more. Starting in CF192, DX client is supported for OpenShift and Kubernetes DX deployments. In this video, I'll walk through the steps of installing, configuring, and testing DX client with a Portal 9.5 CF194 deployment running on OpenShift. Per the prerequisites in the documentation, I need to have Node.js version 12.18.3 or higher installed on my workstation. Since I'm using Linux as my workstation, I have these commands to install Node.js. Please refer to the Node.js documentation to install it on your workstation's platform. With the installation complete, I can verify by running node-version. And that looks good. With Node.js installed, I can move on to the actual DX client installation. First, I need to find the installation files on the HCL software portal. Under HCL portal 85995CFs, we can see the CF194 version of DX client. I have already downloaded it to my workstation. So first I'll unzip the package. Then I'll move into the DX client directory. Now I don't need to run the unlink command since this is a fresh install. So I'll start by running the make install command. And then the make link command. Now to verify the install, I can run DX client with a V option to print out the version. And that also looks good. Now we need to configure it to work with my DX deployment. You can pass all the configuration options via the command line, but I'm going to update the config.json file mentioned with my environment-specific info so I don't have to pass in the parameters every time I run DX client. Since I'm on OpenShift, there's a sample for Kubernetes environments, so I'll just copy the sample to the config.json. Now, some of the configurations are already filled in, but obviously I need to update the host names, usernames, and passwords. So going to my OpenShift web console, we can see I have a full DX deployment. And if I go to the routes, I can grab the host name of my core portal server. I still have the defaults for the username and passwords for portal, which are WPS admin. They're also WPS admin for my configuration wizard. For the DX Connect hostname, I need to use the DX Connect route since I'm using OpenShift. and I'll leave all the other settings as default. Okay, with DX client now configured to interact with my DX deployment, I can now test it. I think the simplest test is just to try to run XML access on my portal server. Using export.xml sample from the portal server doc XML samples directory, I can run DX client on this file to just generate an export. Um, and looking at the documentation, it only requires the input file and the path to the file. And 
that looks like it ran successfully. Uh, by default, the output files are created under the DX client output files XML access directory. And as we can see, the full export is here, so it was a successful test.